John Marshall is one of those uh, great, great instances of cronyism because a lot of people you learn about John Marshall. I, I look, I, I took AP U.S. history when I was in high school. Uh, I've read a lot of history books. Um, I've read a lot of stuff on John Marshall and his constitutional opinions. And you got all these people, uh, the, the great, great man of the court, the, the great John Marshall. He's the big yeah. government advocate. What none of the n- you don't learn this at all. And I just find this simply astonishing. Uh, border bordering scandalous is two things. One, that John Marshall and his brother James were enormous land speculators. Right. So you're dealing with someone who's like who is who has dealt with immense amount of land speculation, including in Virginia, and that these guys are also linked with who was at the time in the 1790s, the the, the, the one of the, the wealthiest, richest men in America, Robert Morris, James Marshall, John Marshall's uh, uh, brother had married the daughter of Robert Mar- uh, Morris, and they had engaged in various speculation uh, schemes together. So when you read this, you're like, whoa, 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 wait a second. Why was I not informed of this at all? Like this might influence uh, some people's opinions of this man. And John Marshall was someone who was very concerned about what would happen in the Yazoo, uh, you know, what would happen with the with the, the Yazoo claimants. Because John Marshall was in, in, un, undergoing, he, he was suffering a, a similar experience in Virginia. There was a large land grant in Virginia that now that the, the Virginia legislature had wanted to rescind. The Marshalls were involved in it. They didn't want that to happen. So the case of Fletcher v. Peck, all right, which is a Supreme Court case. This is John Marshall recalling what we spoke about in an earlier podcast regarding judicial review used to protect Federalist cronyism. John Marshall is using judicial review to overturn a state law, Georgia, basically rescinding the Yazoo uh, uh, land grants and saying, nope, can't do that. Uh, You you know, you you, got to provide compensation for them. And okay, so why do you want to do that? All right. Obviously, John Marshall was a big government person ideologically. He wanted to find some uh, defense of this using the contract clause and all of that. But he also clearly wanted to protect his own land speculation. So he wanted to set a uh, a, a precedent uh, for this. And you saw this in later Supreme Court cases um, uh, where, where basically uh, the, Mar- the the Supreme Court upheld the validity of the um, uh, Marshall's titles to land in Virginia. Now, to be fair, Marshall had excused himself from these various uh, court cases, but Joseph Story, who was also on the Supreme Court, he was someone who had also worked for land speculators. He had also worked for the Yazoo land speculators. He's basically doing Marshall's dirty work on the Supreme Court. So this it's it's a fascinating story. It's it's one of the uh, it's similar to the George Washington, you know, uh, moving the capital to benefit himself. This is just like a, a very simple uh you know, tight explanation of just personal cronyism and and what makes it all the more remarkable is this is this is a chief justice. <laughs> this is supposed to be a person who's who's above all this. He's he's a great you know, a uh, uh, legal analyst. And he's, he's kind of making deals basically to line his own pockets. And you're going, well, it's good to know nothing's changed in United States history. Yeah.